I have defrosted some lovely ahi tuna. Rinse it off, dry it, just like the chicken and a whole bunch of other things you wanna make sure there's no skank left over from the packaging. We're gonna get a pan going on high. You want really high heat. We're gonna try to make this go crisp as fast as possible because we don't actually wanna cook the inside. And with tataki style, I don't like to do both sides and then just have that little bit of rare in the middle. We want one side really crispy and the rest of it just totally dead rare. So this pan is now smoking. So now's the time to get some oil in there. Season up one side of this with some coarse salt. I'm gonna use kosher for now. If you got some good sea salt, that's totally cool too. And then just drop this guy in away from you. All right, gonna take a peek. Yep, a little more, a little more. That was about the 35 second mark. All right, I'm gonna call it. What you don't wanna do is overcook it. Oh, I don't know, that looks pretty good. Not too worried about that. And we're gonna let this rest just for like the next 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I'm gonna get some scallions. Let's just cut these on the bias. So let's talk very briefly about slicing the fish. If you can see here how these ridges are going around. So what you don't wanna do is just grab from this side where it's just one large fiber of meat. That's gonna give you a really stringy, bad texture. Cut that down. And when you get to the end of this first section, then you can turn it this way, because now we've got all these lines going this way. You just do the same thing. We're gonna sprinkle all these scallions over this. Next, we're gonna get bonito flakes and give this a nice sprinkle like that. Let's get some of that bastard sauce we made earlier. Oh boy, killer. I'm not gonna wait. I got a pair of chopsticks right here and I'm getting in. Oh God, it's good. I'm just, it's really good. 